And we were all focused on Carl Edwards and in the catch fence and getting out of wow. his car. And it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Brad just won this race. There was driving a, for James Fitch. It was a very dramatic moment at, at the end of that race, certainly. And I know that you have said before that a Memphis truck win was the race that changed your life. But this certainly, that victory, puts you on a course for success. And it's really interesting because there was a lot of uh, unpredictability and uh, you didn't know where you were going to go. Listen to what you had to say after that victory. Yeah, I'm still amazed by the fact that I won. I watched the replay of the race now a few times and still uh, kind of disbelief that I won, even watching it on TV. Certainly winning a race is, is good for your career, but the, the details of which I don't know. I don't know where, I don't know where we go from here. Uh, a lot of it is out of my hands. I'd like to think that, um, I'd like to think that I'll end up in a full-time cup ride, but as of yet, that hasn't happened. What were you like? What was that time like for you? Was it was it nerve wracking? Was it unfamiliar? Like, what was that like for you? Uh, well, I mean, it was great, but it was also, it, you know, it's like one of those things where you, you feel like you're blessed, but at the same time, you're like, oh, well, what's the next door? What's behind the next yeah. door? And you're like, waiting. Is this too good to be true? And uh, so, you know, it was a, a great opportunity for me to compete and to win and to further my career. But I had no idea I was going to, you know, wind up with Roger Penske driving for Team Penske for the last 10 years since that time period. And, you know, there was a lot of chatter if I was going to race with Rick Hendrick, but uh, it, it all came together and I'm, I'm so thankful. A little bit of facial hair back then, too. You looked yeah, a little bit I had a little more hair here and a little more hair up here, but hair is way overrated. <laughs> way overrated. But when I think back to that race, I can't help but think of, that was 2009, I can't help but think of 2008 and what happened at Talladega, the race <laughs> right before that one. This move right here. Now, I went below the yellow line. Yeah, I, I was feel like say, who's in that car? I, I feel like that maybe taught you a little something about what you needed to do when we went back there the following race in the spring. So we, we need to work out a little Absolutely. commission you, here, Brad. You know, maybe uh, maybe uh, I should be commissioned on that one. Wait, 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 well, we'll talk about that offline. But <laughs> not, <laughs> the, the funny part is, is I, obviously I wasn't in that race. Uh, I had went to that race to watch it. Uh, Casey Mears uh, it was having a, a, uh, his baby, uh, with, his wife was having a baby. And uh, so I practiced and watched in his car. And then come race day, they said, you know what? Casey's got this. Don't worry about it. So I flew home and watched the race from my couch. And uh, I remember thinking, uh, wow, if I'm in that scenario ever again, and I, my roommate, I told him, I said, if I'm ever in that scenario, you just got to get to the yellow line and stop and wreck the guy. Yeah. That's what you have to do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we talked about it. And I remember my roommate specifically saying, no, you wouldn't. You wouldn't do that. And, I, you know, I'm telling him, yes, I would. And I never thought I'd get in the actual scenario where that would come up. And I did. And I'll never forget, you know, coming home and my roommate saying, oh, my God, you, you did. <laughs> but I think you confirmed the rule in the driver's meeting, if memory serves yes. me right. Yeah, and, you know, I, obviously I still didn't know I was going to get in the situation. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that day of yours definitely had a huge effect on the, the same thing for me a few months later of winning Talladega. And you know, I still feel like you deserve the win there, Regan. Oh, back to that commission check. We will talk <laughs> after this show. <laughs>